Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is how to actually connect your phone to your receiver and alarms. Um, so we brought out a new app and the new interface is compatible with some of the other uh, new direction alarms as well and it is upgraded quite regularly. Um, so yeah, this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to get your alarm of choice, whether it's a K9S or uh, an S9, and first of all, turn them on, which these ones are, like that. This one's set on yellow. So what I'm gonna do is you need to actually, first of all, push down on the center toggle on your receiver, and that will come up with remote setting one. You need to flick down through the settings to number six, and it will say app setting. Push the center toggle down again, and it says status off. So you need to push up to status on, center button, and now on the very, very top of the receiver, you'll see like a little toolbar, and next to the speaker control function there is a flashing light. That's your Bluetooth. Your Bluetooth is now on on your alarm. So you need to turn your Bluetooth on your phone. Now, you do not pair the device to this. It will automatically connect to it once you open the app. So we're going to go to the app. It's got ND Byte Alarm. We're going to click on there, and you can see on the front there, there's a few different um, products from ND on there. So we're going to click on the Byte Alarm one. And I'm going to just hold that there and spin the wheel. And that has now come up on the phone there, like that. So this is not a receiver, this is a controller to change the sensitivity, volume and tone on your alarms, whether this be a um, the S9 or the K9, or even the new alarm that's gonna come out, the BEA. Now, on this particular alarm, the S9, this hasn't got a night light, but you'll see on the actual, um, on this app, there's a light on there, so that's for the other alarms. So let me just show you quickly, I'm gonna put the alarm down for the moment. No, I'm not, I'm gonna put the alarm up, because this is where the noise comes out. So if I actually hit on the yellow, I'm gonna to go to volume, and I'm going to change the volume to six. Now there's two columns, one on the left, one on the right. On the left it says volume, tone sensitivity and night light. And on the right you've got your number settings for what you want on here. So I'm gonna to go to setting six, I'm gonna push okay, and that's made a beep. So that has now put that on to volume six on your alarm. Next door to that you'll see um, another, there's a circle with like three um, bars. If you click back on there, that alters the tone sensitivity. So I'm gonna to go to tone and I'm going to go to five. Hit OK, and it's changed the tone. I'll change it to another tone so you can see the difference. One, that may be in the volume, so it was volume, tone one. So you can see the difference. So you can see that it's working, it's changing. So there's a little confusion about the, um, the millimeters on here. Um, it isn't actually the amount of line it's the fish are taking on a, on a bite. Uh, what that actually is, is it's giving you an indication how many millimeters the roller is actually going uh, before you get a beep. So let me just demonstrate that, which is, this is actually quite a good function because it, it tells you um, quite clearly how much movement your bobbin needs to do before you're getting an individual bite um, on, on the receiver. So. I am going to put this on to now uh, sensitivity, and we are going to go on zero. Okay, so I'm gonna spin the wheel, and you'll see the yellow will go four millimeters. So I've moved that roller four millimeters to get a single beep. Another one, four millimeters. So I've had two beeps, and the rotation of the wheel has gone round eight to eight millimeters. I'm now going to go back to sensitivity and I'm going to put it on to three. Okay, now it's on eight millimeters at the moment and I know on setting three that roller needs to spin around 16 millimeters before it gets a beep. So if my calculations are correct, this is gonna go on to 24 when I spin it and get a beep. and it has. 
So I think you can get the idea now, um, a little bit of confusion first of all, how the actual function works, but that is how it works. So yeah, it is quite a good feature. And I know now that if it's windy, I wanna be particularly, you know, 16 millimeters, that's a lot of movement on a roller. So that's gonna be ideal for your winter, con winter conditions, uh, you know, with heavy rain and wind and that. So yeah. And a good thing about it, I don't need to go to my alarms to actually change the settings. I can just do it all in my cabin or my bivvy. So there we go.